People in Washington learned they will have to say goodbye to a beloved citizen Friday. The National Zoo announced it will return Tai Shan, a panda cub, to his homeland China early next year. China News shows you why. Tai Shen, which means peaceful mountain in Chinese, was born in July 2005 at the National Zoo in Washington. He is the first giant panda cub born there to survive. Diligently cared for by staff, Tai Shen's every move has been tracked by animal lovers. You can see him on a panda webcam that draws one million visitors to the zoo's website every month. Millions of others have come to the National Zoo to see him in person since the cub made his public debut in December 2005. Tai Shen is so popular, the zoo says he will even appear on a postage stamp. He's not only an important icon for the zoo and the city, but also represents goodwill between China and the United States. Seeing pandas and getting excited about them, people want to learn more not just about pandas but about their homeland. And I think that、um, pandas link、um, people to Chinese culture and get them excited about learning more about China. The young furry ambassador's stint in the states is almost up, however. His parents, Mei Xiang and Tian Tian, came to the zoo in 2000 under a 10-year loan from China. The original China-U.S. agreement stated their offspring would return to China at two years old. But Americans pleaded to extend Tai Shen's stay. China agreed the zoo could keep him for two more years. Time is now up, and Stephen says the cub will fly to the panda base in Sichuan Province in January or February, so he can help repopulate a dwindling species. The first pandas to live at the National Zoo in Washington arrived soon after U.S. President Richard Nixon's historic visit to China in 1972. They were a gift from the Chinese people. There are currently 13 Chinese giant pandas living in four zoos in the United States.